Hello, this is Professor Nelson with the Jewelry Design Department at FIT. Another tutorial in this series we're running here on uh, using Rhino maquettes for 2D design. Uh, this is the design I was working on in the last video. It is complete. Um, however, I would like to explore the option of putting in a um, a mega clip, a clip back. I want this to hang kind of off center, and to do that, uh, support of a clip is going to be very helpful. So, I keep a library of clips and other findings. Okay, this is an Omega clip from a Bucciolati piece, shown both open and closed. Okay, I have that in line work. I've had Rhino draw it. I'm going to bring that in here. It's right here. Going to uh, rotate it. And lose the frame. Okay. Now, the trickiest thing with the Omega clip is being able to place it in such a way that it works well within the design. Okay. Wherever the base of this opening is, is where the post is going to have to go. I don't want to see this portion coming out behind the ear at all. This showing over here is okay, but that's going to put my post right here. So. Yeah, my post is going to go right in to that area. In fact, I probably am going to have to... No, that should be okay. That's a pretty good compromise. Because I need to have enough space here at the top uh, for the uh, post to clear when I open and close this. So. In fact, I could take a minute and draw on here. Uh, an estimated thickness here. It's about that thick. Okay. I'm going to bring that straight over. Now I need this to come far enough back on my post that when it swings open it doesn't catch the end. So my post is a little long for what I'm going to want to do. I also want it to be able to grip the ear. And this is getting a little bit wide for the ear. I have an ear brought in here for scale. And that's a little bit wide. Not a lot, but a little bit. So, I'm going to slide that in a little bit. And that will take care of that portion on my design. I'm going to cut this post. Control X. And I'm going to paste it back in. Control V. So it comes in as a fresh layer. And I'm going to shorten that post until I believe my clip can swing clear of its end. That looks good to me. I'll clip off the back of it and regroup it with its design. So here's my Omega clip. 
I want to take that down in opacity a bit so that it matches the rest of my line work. And I need to draw something that connects this to the piece. Uh, the jeweler or the model maker would have to actually create me a connecting piece here. Usually it, it can come up like this from the back of the piece or it can curve downward. And downward is usually the more elegant solution. In fact, what will often happen is something like that. Now be aware that the Omega Clip needs to have a specific kind of uh, relationship with its opening here. Okay, So this section can't really change a lot. So I can't really bite too much into that. And that section would be like in this area here. So that area is going to be kind of sacred. I can't really mess with it. But starting from here, I certainly can. And I can put something elegant here. Now I've got to be aware that this is this rectangle here. So I can't go below that or it's going to be visible from the front. I have no intention to go deeper than that, so I'm okay. Because you don't want to see any of this from the front. Taking a peek at that Omega clip for reference. I think it would look nice to even have a deeper And since a jeweler is going to basically borrow the finding and then chop it and, and put wire, add wire to it and solder it, sculpt it and solder it on, or CAD Model Maker is going to model this portion to take an Omega clip because you can buy just the wire separately. I do have creativity here. I don't have to have just a straight block coming out. My client might prefer me having a straight block come out because it's less work for their jeweler. Okay. And here, I don't need anything. except for that. Okay? And that piece is actually not really attractive. Um, it could cause misunderstanding with the model maker. Um, he might try and put an extra sculptural detail there that I didn't really have in mind. So it's problematic. I have to decide whether it's better 
to show that there, to show that I understand it, or if it's better to remove it. Here's another option. Going to cut it, paste it, just like I did before to create a new layer. But this layer, I can take very, very faint so that I don't have any real competition and it reads as an afterthought. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to um, drop these to the canvas. Come in here and clean that out. And that's a finished drawing, complete with the Omega clip, okay? Um, I am going to pick the drawing back up. I am going to take it gel. And I'm going to bring the ear back. And I need to make a decision about the placement of the ear um, with that clip back. Actually, I think the best way to do that is to keep that default for a minute. I'm going to copy and paste it. And I'm going to move it over here. I'm going to move it away from my first drawing. I'm going to gel it. Actually, I'll gel both of these. And now I'll move my ear over here. Move the ear down. Move both of these designs down. Or at least this one. I need to make sure I have a good placement for my features for a final layout. And that would be about right. Um, I've cut away this section here, but that's going to be fine. That would be a good indication of what's going on there. For this layer, I'll only keep the top view. I will cut the rest. And actually for this view, I don't really need this anymore. I'll cut that. I'm going to group, collapse these into one layer, and take them back to gel. My ear, I'm going to erase the ear post markings. And anywhere my design crosses over the ear. And as for my design, I'm going to go ahead and remove that visible ear back because that would only be visible on the technical drawing. Okay. And now that I have this, um, I have a finished drawing that I can use for layout purposes.
I can work some kind of a rendering solution for this view over here. And these are my technical drawings. And that's what I wanted to show you. Uh, thanks so much for watching.